welcome back everyone so if you have recently upgraded to windows 11 resetted windows 11 or bought a new windows 11 machine then it's really recommended that you should do these six changes immediately but before starting guys make sure that you hit the like subscribe turn the bell notification on so that you can get all the upcoming videos notification and you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your pc and laptop problem Okay, so the very first thing that is recommended that you should go ahead and create a local account on your Windows 11 machine. Now the local account don't send any kind of your personal data to Microsoft and if you are more concerned about your privacy then you must create a new local account. Even if you are using a Microsoft account then creating a local account will give you an alternate option in case if you forgot your Microsoft account password then for a meanwhile you can sign in with a local account. And it's very simple to create on your windows 11 search box you will have to click on it then type netplwiz then you have to click on it this will bring up the new user account box and here if you have created any local account it will be displayed over here and in order to create a new one you will have to click on add then click on sign in without a microsoft account that is at the bottom and here again click on local account now here you have to give the name of the desired local account that you want so for example i will type here crown then you have to type the password that you need for this local account you also need to confirm it and you can also give a password hint in case if you forget the password at least you can recall yourself by the password hint and once you are done you will have to click on next and your local account will now be created so if you click on finish so now here you can see that your local account is being listed now from here only in future you can remove it or if you want to change the properties then you can click on properties you can change the username from here you can click on group membership and if you want to give this local account the admin permission then you can select this to administrator then you will have to click on apply and click on ok and now the next time if you want to sign in with this new local account then you can click on the windows icon click on your current user account name and here you can see that the new local account name has been displayed all right so it's really recommended that you should go and create a new local account on your new windows 11 machine and now the next change that is recommended that you should go and clean and remove all kind of unwanted bloatware from your windows 11 machine especially if you got any kind of asus or any kind of hp laptop because there are a lot of bloatware from these manufacturers even from the windows so if you click on the windows icon you can find all kind of bloatware over here like linkedin to do a uh, luminar new ai photo editor xbox microsoft office 365 because this is a free version so if you don't need this kind of bloatware then you can click on all app and instead of using any kind of third party tool you can go ahead and manually uninstall them and if you want to use any kind of third party tool i've already created a video you can check that video that will be automatically debloating your windows 11. so look over the application here like if you don't need the cortana then right click on it and choose uninstall similarly you can scroll down then you have the mail if you don't use the mail option then you can right click on it and choose uninstall similarly if you don't use the map right click on it and choose uninstall microsoft 365 this is a free version so again it's not recommended then you have many other bloatware like microsoft to do so you can click on it and choose uninstall now there will be some application like microsoft edge for which the uninstall option will not be highlighted and similarly there would be some more application that you will not be able to uninstall so i've also created a video that how you can just uninstall these stubborn bloatware from your windows 11 machine you can check that video as well all right so once you have cleaned and remove all these application surely this will be improving the performance and speeding up your windows 11 machine now the third change that i would recommend you is to enable the bit locker and bit locker majority of the people i have seen they are not using it but if you are concerned about your security because many times especially when you are using a laptop there are some chances that your laptop get stolen or somebody get access to your laptop and they can misuse of it so in this scenarios it's really recommended that you should encrypt your data inside your hard drive 
or SSD using the Microsoft default feature that is a BitLocker. Alright, and it's very simple. You will have to click on your Windows search, type BitLocker, click on Manage BitLocker, and here it says see BitLocker off. So you will have to click on Turn on BitLocker. Now I'm using a virtual machine here, so it's not allowing me to enable it. But once you will just enable it, it will ask you for the password and where exactly you want to save the encrypted key. So you will have to choose those options and then you have to configure it. And there is also another method to enable the BitLocker. Like if you want to enable the BitLocker for any other drive, then you can make a right click on that particular drive. Then you have to click on turn on BitLocker and the same option will be displayed over here. Alright, so it's really recommended guys that it's a, a feature from the Microsoft that is really useful to encrypt your data inside your hard drive. Now the next change is also related to the security and the privacy for which you will have to click on your Windows search. Type UAC and in the suggestion you will be getting change user account control setting. Click on it. Now here I have seen many people that they have selected this permission to either never notify or to notify me when only app try to make changes. Now it's not recommended, especially if you're concerned about your security. And if you don't want that any malicious software get automatically get installed, then I would recommend you that keep this option to always notify on the very top. Of course, you will be getting a lot of annoying pop up while installing any kind of application or doing any kind of changes in the settings. But yes, you will be getting the enough security. So it's all up to you. If you want the enough protection, then you can keep it to high. If you need the medium security, then you can also keep it to notify me when app try to make changes to my computer. Now, the next change that I would recommend you is really recommended for each and every Windows user. And that is a restore point. Now, I have seen that many people, they avoid this uh, restore point. I don't know why, but trust me, guys, you should go ahead and create a restore point because you don't know that in future if anything goes wrong with your computer if there is any kind of problem if you face any kind of data loss at least you have a point created that can help you to revert to the action where exactly your computer was working fine so again it's very simple to create a restore point you will have to click on your windows search type restore and from the suggestion you will have to click on create a restore point now here at the bottom you will find the create option in case if this is not highlighted then you will have to click on configure and turn on the system protection click on apply click on ok now you can click on create and give any kind of name or date so that you can identify that when exactly and for what purpose you created this restore point so I will give any kind of name like win 11 changes then you will have to click on create and it will only take few seconds to create a restore point. And once it will be created, it says the restore point was created successfully. So you can click on close. Now in future, if you want to restore your computer, then you can again come back to the same option. Click on system restore. Click on next. And you will find your restore point over here. You can simply select it. Click on next. And once you click on finish, the computer will start restoring your computer your device to that particular date when you have created the restore point all right so now the last and the final one is that we will be disabling some kind of unwanted advertisement permissions so that we can maintain our security and we can bypass many kind of annoying ad tips and suggestions so for that you need to make a right click on the windows icon click on settings now here from the left hand menu option you will have to click on privacy and security then in the windows permission you will have to click on general and here you have to disable all these options it says let app show me personalized ad by using my advertising id show me suggested content in the setting app so if you don't want any kind of annoying tips ad and any kind of suggestion then you will have to disable it once you are done from the left hand menu option only you will have to click on system then you have to click on notifications and here you have to scroll down to the bottom and click on additional settings and uncheck all these options okay so that's it guys and hopefully after applying all these changes i'm very sure in the future you will recognize you will realize that you have made some important changes that will be helping you in the future and hopefully guys you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye